Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 21 engaging questions about the Holy Bible. Subscribe and like to support us. Share your score in the comments and join as a member for exclusive content. Let's dive into the quiz. Question 1. What did Jesus say about the value of gaining the whole world at the cost of one's soul? A. It is a wise investment. B. It demonstrates true power. C. It is foolish, as the soul is more valuable. D. It is a worthy pursuit for the ambitious. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. For what is a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 26. Question 2. Which woman, though not an Israelite, chose to stay with her mother-in-law after her husband died? A. Deborah. B. Ruth. C. Esther. D. Sarah. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Question 3. In Psalm 34, what did David say about those who seek the Lord? A. They shall lack no good thing. B. They shall be blessed. C. They shall find wisdom. D. They shall be delivered from fear. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Question 4. What was David's response when Michal criticized him for dancing before the ark? A. He apologized. B. He was angry. C. He explained it was before the Lord. D. He remained silent. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Second book of Samuel, chapter 6, verse 21. And David said unto Michael, It was before the Lord, which chose me before thy father, and before all his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore will I play before the Lord. Question 5. Upon encountering the Ark of the Covenant, how did Uzzah die? A. By thieves on the road. B. Struck by lightning. C. He was smitten by God. D. Fell from the cart carrying the ark. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 
Second Book of Samuel, Chapter 6, Verse 7 And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of God. Question 6. Who was swallowed by a large fish? A. Elijah B. Jonah C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Jonah, chapter 1, verse 17. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Question 7. What river was Naaman told to wash in to be cured of leprosy? A. Euphrates B. Jordan C. Nile D. Tigris Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Second Book of Kings, Chapter 5, Verse 10. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Question 8. What prophet was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind? A. Elisha B. Elijah C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Second Book of Kings, chapter 2, verse 11. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Question 9. Who interpreted King Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a large statue made of various metals? A. Shadrach B. Meshach C. Abednego D. Daniel. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Book of Daniel, chapter 2, verses 31 to 45. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold a great image. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Question 10. In which book is the Valley of Dry Bones vision found? A. Ezekiel B. Daniel C. Jeremiah D. Isaiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 1 to 3. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Question 11. 
Who did David show kindness for Jonathan's sake? A. Ahimelech B. Ziba C. Barzillai D. Mephibosheth Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Second book of Samuel, chapter 9, verse 1. And David said, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Question 12. Which Old Testament book contains the vision of a new temple in Jerusalem? A. Ezekiel B. Daniel C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Ezekiel, chapters 40 to 43. Description of the vision of the new temple. Question 13. Who was the prophet that succeeded Moses as leader of Israel? A. Aaron. B. Joshua. C. Caleb. D. Samuel. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Question 14. What did Joseph's brothers do to him out of jealousy? A. Killed him. B. Left him in the desert. C. Sold him into slavery. D. Took his coat. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Book of Genesis, chapter 37, verse 28. Then there passed by Midianites merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. Question 15. Who was the oldest of Noah's three sons? A. Shem. B. Ham C. Japheth D. Canaan Time to think. The right answer is letter C. First book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 21. Unto Shem also the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born. Question 16. Who walked on water towards Jesus? A. John B. James C. Peter D. Andrew Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Gospel of Matthew, 
chapter 14, verse 29. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Question 17. What was Esau doing when Jacob stole his blessing? A. Fishing. B. Hunting. C. Sleeping. D. Praying. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 5. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. Question 18. In the book of Revelation, what were the four horsemen of the apocalypse? A. War, famine, death, conquest, B. Love, hope, faith, peace. C. Truth, justice, righteousness, mercy. D. Not specified in the text. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Revelation, chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering, and to conquer. Question 19. Who was the oldest son of Jacob? A. Benjamin B. Judah C. Joseph D. Reuben Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Book of Genesis, chapter 35, verse 23. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. Question 20. In the book of Job, who are the three friends that visit him? A. Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar. B. Nadab, Abihu, and Eleazar. C. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. D. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Job, chapter 2, verse 11. Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite. For they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. Question 21. Who found baby Moses in the Nile River? A. Miriam B. The daughter of Pharaoh C. Jochebed D. The wife of Pharaoh Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her maidens walked along by the river's side, 
and when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it, and when she had opened it, she saw the child, and, behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him, and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.